One of the most important art events of the year is back. Top galleries, museum quality art, the world's wealthiest collectors, and plain Janes like me. I am in Switzerland for the 2021 edition of Art Basel. That's exactly where it started in 1970 by three gallerists. Trudel Bruckner approached two fellow gallerists, Ernst Beiler and Baltz Hilt, to start a fair simply called Art. Last year would have marked its 50th anniversary, but the show was canceled due to the pandemic. What's new this year is wristbands. Everyone who goes inside needs to have a wristband that certifies that you're COVID-free. I already got my press badge and I'm going to get my wristband now. I'll see you inside. On my way to the COVID certification shed, there is a live performance here on NASA Plots. It's called Tears by British artist Monster Chetwind. Once the certification is done, I'm finally heading inside. This year, there are 272 galleries from 33 countries, including, of course, the host country. Meet Elena Buchmann, the owner of a Swiss gallery. I started the gallery in 1975. Wow. And uh, now it's a uh, 40? 40 years. 40 years I'm here in Art Basel. What's the focus? Is it mainly contemporary, modern art? Who do you represent? Contemporary art. I, Bookman I displays women artists the at the front. Women are in the front side. Mm -hmm. the, the two works by Fiona Ray and Bettina Pussi. How has the show been for you, for your gallery? Was it a successful show? Yeah, I'm so... Uh, <laughs> Sono molto contenta di poter ritornare. Yeah, she's, she's very glad to be back in Basel. And that's what I hear a lot from everybody. People are glad to be back in person. And, uh, we are very happy to be back in Art Basel after one and a half a year uh, art fairs not happening. This is the only Estonian gallery at the show, Temnikova and Casella. The vibe is a little bit slower than usually, but also humbler than usual. And you actually have time to talk with the collectors, have some longer and meaningful chats. We have also sold some works. Here in Statements, we are showing Edith Karlsson, a female artist from Estonia. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of the artwork is Good, Bad and the Ugly. Can you please tell me a little bit um, about the inspiration behind this piece? Absolutely. So Edith Carlson, the artist, started to wonder about why the snakes are so much feared. It's the most common fear, actually, in humans. Uh, and it's very easy to be afraid of something that is unknown or you don't understand that well. And the same goes uh, also to the political situation uh, today, which is very divided, to right to the left. And it's very easy to activate your followers by planting fear. It's really easy to take a symbol and demonize it. And some galleries were uncertain about coming, like the approach from London. This is the first art fair that we've all been to since the pandemic. And, you know, we were perhaps a little bit hesitant at first about what that could be. To also so they're splitting the booth with another gallery, Kate McGarry. And, you know, I felt like that's been one of the most positive uh, decisions that we've made. And then, yeah, just to do a sort of smaller showcase than usual, but we've had a good week. Um, the people that have visited during the week have been really keen to come back and see some art. So I think there's been really good energy. We've made some sales. Prior to the show, Art Basel set up a 1.5 million Swiss franc fund to help those galleries which wouldn't make any sales. And it's nice to see familiar American galleries like Paula Cooper and Marianne Goodman. Um, I would say that it's been more quiet this year than in other years. Far fewer Americans came this year because of all the COVID regulations. Um, but, you know, I have to say it's been so much better than we thought it was going to be. We've had a good fair. Um, we did a project with Maurizio Catalan, a specific project called Smoke was like an episodic exhibition that we did. We did it with, so Marion Goodman Gallery and Peritan Gallery and Massimo Di Carlo. We all showed specific works by Maurizio Catalan. 
You can see the pigeons on the top of the booth, which all three, we all had separate works, but we all showed the pigeons. And we got a great reception to that. And Maurizio doesn't usually show at art fairs, so that was very exciting for us. And everybody that I spoke to kind of says the same thing. It was just really nice to see colleagues, see collectors. We've been doing so many things on Zoom and only seeing people that way that to see people in real life and to see art in real life and you know Basel is really the best fair Basel museums and institutions are incredible mm -hmm. so yeah in some ways it was great to be here despite the difficult circumstances and this is it the end of the show from Art Basel I'm Jane Graves I'll see you soon Scriptum. Right outside, there is a vintage Mercedes Benz bearing Russian license plate, but two figures embracing inside. It's the Pace Gallery's installation called The Outsiders by Elmgren and Dragset, two Scandinavian artists. Art is a political statement as never before, and it teaches us acceptance and tolerance.